And in the end, I will tell you how much money I made in 2021 in the first year of business with no advertising at all, just eBay, two Squarespace orders and friends. Servus und hallo, welcome to this new video. I just came back from my winter break that I didn't announce, but figured I wanted to do it. More on that in a second. This is one of the reasons that I uh, that it took a while for videos, because this is uh, my new home. Actually, just moved like 10 meters forward. But um, <clears throat> this is my living room. Bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, and the very echoey living room. And that's why it took so long. We chose blue and an apricot, which is a very nice contrast. And why did I go on a winter break? It had something to do with uh, just getting a break in general and uh, something with the offices. Uh, one office that is um, responsible for my uh, tax number and filing the correct taxes to me failed <laughs> in a way um, where they, they, they ticked the wrong box and uh, eventually the algorithm from eBay essentially sent me a message to knock on my door and say hey uh, we don't have this and that from you and it actually took, <laughs> took like three weeks to get it all right then I chose to go on break from December 23rd to January 17th which is hopefully today uh, if I did things right. I will do this every year and probably take a summer break as well because in the summer I'm usually very busy because I'm also with like a youth organization I'm usually on a two week break there. Then why is my Voron not built? As you may know I purchased a LDO Voron 0.1 kit and built it 99% um, it just lacks a little bit of software and I need to replace um, the X carriage thing where attaches to the linear rails and correct the belt tension and I failed uh, in the belt path on one thing which is not bad but it's kind of restrictive I just need to put a little bit of uh, work into that and then I have a printing warrant. I have a new base philosophy if you can call it that. In my shop you can still purchase the um, all the base sizes but I will now be getting them from from a supplier in China who injection molds them. Um, it's little they are a little thinner but easier to produce and I was losing money on the bases almost. And they are cleaner then and they are very reproducible, which is nice. I will be eventually getting uh, this production line in Germany uh, because first it's local and that means I could theoretically drive there and then the shipping time is not that high. I'm this small that I only need like a carton full of bases and not pellets worth. Um, which is pretty nice. The prices will stay the same because I still have to make money and uh, yes, but with every miniature um, somebody purchases they get the correct, um, they get a free base if the mini needs it because sometimes there are thematic bases like with this Phoenix. If you purchase a mini that was originally made by MZ you will get a small base from me or a medium or a large or a huge or gargantuan. It is worth to buy the injection molded bases up until 80 millimeters um, because then printing gets cheaper. Um, I will be printing the bigger sizes with my printer still but taking these loads because sometimes people just buy 200 like 125 millimeter bases and 132 millimeter bases and that's possible but it's a lot of stress that is not necessary. It's just why I sell the why I would will still sell the bases is because availability, one stop shopness, and if you buy it from me, it's just quicker. And obviously, you pay a bit for that. But eventually, I would take this these funds to put them towards the PFA sheets. And with the PFA sheets, I will hopefully transition into either more FDM printing things or injection molding, which costs a lot. Um, and when I get the injection molded stuff rolling, I will also get the cobblestone bases um, injection molded, which hopefully works. Um, we still have to see if that is possible, but I think it is. If not, I will just cast them in epoxy resin. I don't know if I have talked about it yet, but I will be having bundles in my shop, in my eBay shop, uh, for all the people that live in the EU and want to purchase uh, D&D minis or know, know somebody that needs D&D minis. I will be putting some bundles up 
on my eBay shop. Uh, the bundles are catered towards DMs or people that want a lot of minis for a smaller price. Because if I sell, for example, 15 mini minis at a time, even if I put a 25% discount, I still earn money and it is very convenient to get to people. And it's also a nice present, for example. The thing is, why I don't do adventure based boxes is because a mini cost alone, they are like 500 bucks. I do not want to do that yet because ideally I want to have every mini that I offer as um, like printed in stock. So um, if somebody orders a lich, I can uh, immediately put a shipping label on it, send it away and print the next one. I will need to figure out a, a sorting system, which I have talked about with the other sellers from the MZ Discord, um, because they have just everything in boxes and like cars, and it doesn't satisfy me at all. I, I want a nice stor storage system for that, and I still need to build that. Currently building a resin enclosure, which we are working towards soon. And also dice trays are coming. I have two sizes currently. The smaller size will get online first. I will also show these to you. I have uh, one prototype of them without magnets, but the general shape is the same. In the past I had the option for standard and premium. Standard being Elegoo resin and premium being Druckwege resin with some flexible resin added in. The thing is that Druckwege doesn't have resin in their online shop anymore. And it's kind of expensive, which is alright for me, because the customer has to pay that. But for ease of use, I will uh, be switching over to the Syriatech uh, Sculpt uh, for all my minis. That means a slight price increase for the people that would buy normal, and a slight decrease for the premium people. A, a typical listing um, just has the priming options now, like unprimed, primed in black and primed plus, uh, which is easier to handle, because storing two different kinds of everything is kind of a hassle and I don't know how to do that. So the storage system will be all unprimed and then if I, um, if somebody else is black primed, I just prime them black quickly. A friend of mine ordered something from me and he has a kid. So I will, in future, in the future I will be adding like a small card which says some basic safety instructions if you work with printed minis because you still have to wash your hands and be careful not to put it in your mouth or kid's mouth or dog's mouth. Um, yes, that's just very important. Into the basement. So entering the printing dungeon. Uh, SEO3 is printing an octagonal dice tray prototype for a friend of mine. This is all dust filament PTG. This is metallic blue. This is a filament dryer where you can set the temperature in front and then turn it on in the back and it heats, it circulates the air and then dry filament goes through the filament sensor which I have to relocate at some point and then goes into the printing. Even like, I don't know if you can see this if the camera picks it up but there, there are little strings on here already and it's been in there for eight hours. Then the resin printing uh, enclosure. It's similar to uh, the other enclosure that I built over there. This one is very similar, um, but it has a few differences. There are two tables glued together to create an open space. This is the heater for, for this. This is a 200 watt water bed heater. Yeah, and all my resin printers will go in there. There are openings behind there and there. Yes, the openings are for, for cables. I put this uh, gas gasket around here that once I get some more will go all the way around and I will have a hinge door with, uh, with this to keep everything shut. That's happening at the moment. You may know das filament. Uh, they are a German filament uh, producer and they sell very pretty and very good filament. And the best thing is they sell refills, filament refills. But not ordinary refills, they, they sell refills that are meant to go on these. You may know what this is. These are master spools for filament. The, the key thing is that you can unscrew this part, put a refill on here and then screw it back in and have a nice filament spool without having an actual spool uh, because the the spool part is 
always kind of bothered me because it creates a lot of plastic waste and I don't want to deal with all the waste so I will be ordering the refills which are cheaper by a margin but they are cheaper than standard spools the standard spools look like this uh, these are your basic 800 grams spools this is uh, I don't know what you call it in English but it's anthracite which is like a gray metallic gray yeah so no more of that this is also dust filament PTG I will be slowly moving over to their, their filament for PLA and PTG and TPU one thing I have forgotten one second I forgot my uh, my dice trays the the octagonal one that will not be on sale soon uh, looks like this there's room for about four or five dice sets that can be very tall it should fit most of uh, of the dices that you can buy on the market but extra XXL dies will not fit obviously but yeah it's a fairly simple shape and th there's a TPU bit in the middle which is uh, designed to not let the uh, dice bounce bounce out of this thing um, it's very satisfying to roll in this has 16 magnets on one side uh, and 16 magnets on this side obviously there are not all magnets in there because we ran out of magnets yeah but this is the prototype that um, a friend of mine will receive it has some issues especially quality wise like here and uh, here it lifted a little bit but this is the general shape it's fairly flat and it's easy to pack in a bag I'm working on getting like maybe a strap across here because if you put this in a bag this can shift open because it's meant to be opened this way um, because pulling it apart is fairly hard um, like I can check shake this pretty hard and not lose anything and then there's the smaller version that will be on sale a little bit earlier is is this rectangular dice tray um, the rolling area is here and your dice fit here this should easily fit like two or three dice sets which is enough for most players um, that are not dice goblins like me yeah a couple of things that went wrong with this one is I have some artifacts from bad construction right uh, here on the sides where the uh, the holes for the magnets are. This will also get the same TPU inlay as uh, the rectangular one and obviously also a lid um, that, is, that needs some more top layers uh, because you can see through that. I'm testing the filament dryer like for, for a while and then I will uh, make a review um, because based on uh, I saw this First, this brand introduced was introduced to me by Modbot, uh, or on Modbot on YouTube, where he had uh, with this company sent him uh, the the two spool version of this, um, but I got the smaller one, which is 45 euros, I think. I should check, and it works well uh, this far, um, and it also circulates the air. All my printers are already down there and that the workbench is fairly clear of anything that allows me to work on the printers a little better yes the the genius that i have is still broken i think it is probably the motherboard in order to turn the extruder you need to uh, because there is a cold extrude prevention you need to heat up the hot end when i heat up the hot end to 200 degrees and try to move uh, to turn the extruder motor, also called a stepper motor, it just vibrates. Which kind of indicates that it has low current, because um, if a motor doesn't have enough current, it cannot turn. Swap the, I swapped the drivers around, like cross-swapping to everything, still doesn't work. That means there, there's a problem between the power sending thing, that is the motherboard, uh, which designates what, what and how much power, goes to the extruder motor and the extruder motor itself. I tried three different motors, they all do the same thing. So it is probably the motherboard, which I have to order and get a new one. Talking about hot ends, I will be uh, looking into redesigning the SVO3 hot end and the Artillery Genius hot end in preparation for the Revo hot end. Um, I will probably ask, ask somebody to help me figure this out. Um, because I'm not that good at CAD yet. If these are available, I will also 
look into maybe selling these if I uh, if the if my V zeros build volume is big enough I will print these out in ABS for uh, and sell these and you may, you may ask yourself why do I need a resin enclosure um, the Soraya resin is best printed at or above 25 degrees and I can set the bed heater to 25 degrees or 28 or 30 and even 40 which is very hot water yeah, and it holds the temperature pretty good I'm using the uh, the bed heater because we had it and there is a great thing that a British fella, I forgot his name, um, that he showcased that somebody made, which is like a, s a small thing that you can uh, place into your resin printer's hood and, th and that heats up as well. And I'm not that concerned with parts wearing out because it is essentially just 25 degrees and the parts should be able to hold up. If I get into more if, it, if this gets more serious, I will build something that uh, cools the electronics better. But this is, but that is way in the future, like three or four years from now. What we will now do is see how much money I made in 2021, first year of business. So let's go into my finance tabelle <laughs> and see how much money I made. Keep in mind that this is not profit, but money made through business. I spent more money than I earned. With regular income that I receive, I put something into the business uh, because I need to grow it. In Q1, I earned uh, 117 euros and 20 cents. In Q2, 123 uh, euros and 41 cents. And then Q3 hit, <laughs> uh, which was very good. Um, August was strong. Uh, Q3 was 574 euros and 67 cents and in 2021 I made this much money or around 1400 euros Spent more than that. Yes, that's how much I earned. I did not uh, put any ads anywhere This is just listings on eBay and people uh, that my, my my friends ordering things for me or people that know my friends when they have recommended me to them that's it for today there will be another video on friday which is painting related which is pretty nice i will be tackling the painting videos from a different angle now it would be pretty good to have a painting video of every listing that i have so i will start doing that we will start with the giant ape because i have uh, one right here and we need one for our dnd games i will see you in the next video i hope you print something and that you have no print failures tschüss und auf wiedersehen